I have <laughs> more than a baker's dozen worth of socks to show you today. And they're all from Mustache Yarns. Hi, I'm Sharon, and this is episode 336 of the Knit Style Podcast. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 336. And today, out of the sock drawer and into my show, I'm going to be presenting to you more than a baker's dozen full of self-striping socks that I have knit over the years. And they're still in pretty good shape. I think I have one or two that bit the dust, but I mean, I knit those back in 2014. That's 10 years. So they lasted a good eight or nine years. And these are all going strong and I've knit them years ago, some of them. So I have only been knitting on socks since I talked to you last. And I'm going to talk more about that in a bit. But first, I want to talk about my shop update for the week. So in case you didn't know, um, I have a small business called Knit Style Yarns. And in the beginning of each show, I show you what I've been up to dyeing wise and I have five colorways to show you that are nature garden themed, if you will. Um, and let's start. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with these colorways right away. So I dyed these. Today is Thursday, April 11th, I believe. <laughs> Today's Thursday, April 11th. And I dyed these colorways on Monday, April 8th. And some of you may remember that Monday, April 8th was Eclipse Day <laughs> in the United States. Now, if I had driven about four hours north of me, I could have seen the totality, the eclipse in its totality. But... Rich does not do well with traffic at all. <laughs> he gets very frustrated. And I just didn't want to get into that mess. So we didn't. We just stayed home and I dyed yarn. And right as the eclipse was happening, so it started about 20 minutes to 3, about 2.30, 20 minutes to 3, I had glasses went outside, looked up, and there was a little bit happening already. Um, I was in the middle of dyeing yarn. So the colorway that I dyed during that whole thing, I named Eclipse. <laughs> of course I did. So here it is. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love it. It's got my favorite colors, purple and gold. And it's very complex and beautiful. So if you would like a color commemorating the eclipse, I literally actually died while it was happening. This is eclipse. So I have five colors to show you today. The rest of them are flower garden type themes. So I have dyed a variation of this before, but this is... 2024's version. So this is Zen Garden. You guys know how much I love my garden. And pretty soon, right around Mother's Day, is when I do my plantings. So that's about a month, three weeks away-ish. Because I don't want anything to die. So I make sure that it's well into May before I do my plantings. So this is Zen Garden. And I love my garden so much. I have beautiful weeping trees, 
We have our gorgeous pool out back, just an above ground pool, but we love it. We did not open our pool last year because Rich was going through some health issues and I didn't want to stress him out because he is very focused on that pool when it's open and he makes sure he cleans it almost every day. And I didn't want him to worry about that and have that as an additional stress on him last summer. Um, so we didn't open it and it was sad. <laughs> I was very sad. I still sat out by it, but it wasn't the same. You know what I mean? And it was hot and I had no escape from the heat really to speak of. Um, we did not have great air conditioning last summer. I mean, we had, we have some, we had some wall, like window air conditioners that were super noisy and sort of did the job, but it was tough this year. I'll tell you at the end of last summer, I had had it. We were not doing well health wise. It was bad. And I said to Richie, we got to do something about this air conditioning <laughs> situation. So, um, I got heat pumps installed, so um, they are the split air conditioners, and I have two of them, two of them in my home now downstairs. They're huge. They're absolutely huge. I think each one of them is 1,500 watts, BTUs, I don't know, but they're really big, and um, they also heat our home in the winter, so these things are going to pay for themselves because... Um, I now have a combo of these heat pumps or these these pumps, whatever they're whatever the split air conditioner heat pumps, um, and oil heat, and I have used less than half the oil I normally use. And if you know how much oil costs, that's a lot. Um, so I haven't I've hardly used any oil this year because of these heat pumps. And the heat pumps are super energy efficient. So my electric bill isn't any higher than it was last year. And I'm heating my house basically during the day with those. It's crazy. So <laughs> I didn't mean to <laughs> I didn't mean to go off on that tangent, but anyway, this year, coming back around, I have my relaxing Zen garden outside. I'm going to have my pool open and I'm going to have a wonderful air conditioning downstairs and it will keep the whole house cool. We have air conditioner. We have a, a room air conditioner in our bedroom. That's fine. But it was downstairs that was driving. I, I felt like I couldn't get away from the heat last year. It was bad. But now I can now Everything will be nice and even. I mean, I don't like it real cold. I just want it comfortable. <laughs> I don't want to feel the 100 degree heat in my house. Thank you. So this is an old house. Look, it's very old. It's, it's almost 100 years old. My house is 96 years old. It's the same age as my dad. My dad is 96. <laughs> and so is Mickey Mouse. Fun fact. <laughs> my house was built in 1928. Okay, that's more than you need to know about me and my house and my family. But anyway, so I had so much fun dyeing these colors um, and naming them after my garden. So this next one is fun. I named this one Bird Bath. Do you guys have a bird bath? I do. <laughs> I have lots of birds in my yard, so many. We have bluebirds. We have bluebird houses that are attached to the deck by the pool. And they're they're gorgeous, those bluebirds. They're they're just absolutely beautiful. One problem though, <laughs> I'm going off on tangents today. Hello. So I'll be sitting in the dining room in my little makeshift. I have a computer, my computer office is in the dining room and there's a big window in there and last year all of a sudden this bluebird kept pecking at my window 
and it would just throw itself at the window and peck, 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 peck. I'm like, what is that? We finally had to put an umbrella up so it couldn't get behind. Anyway, so I looked it up and yes, bluebirds are very territorial and it thought it was another bluebird coming into its territory, so it was attacking my window. I didn't, and the thing is, fine, I don't care if it attacks my window. I didn't want the poor thing to get hurt because they can hurt themselves. So it finally stopped. Thank goodness. I hope I don't have that problem this year. But this is bird bath. <laughs> Content named after all the birds. I see so many birds in my backyard. And the most beautiful birds of all are bluebirds. And they have little red breasts. They're beautiful. If I, if I remember, I'll pop a picture in of my bluebirds. I have, I used to use it as my screensaver um, on my computer. It's a really pretty picture that I took. Okay, next one. This is named after my favorite flower in the whole wide world. This is wild lilac. And I have some lilac bushes in my backyard, uh, but they're not the French lilacs. They're fine. I'm not, they're just a smaller variety. They're nice and they smell nice, but I like those beautiful French lilacs and they come in all different colors. They, they can be white all the way up to this deep red purple. So this has a little bit of green in it too. This is wild lilac and I love them. I just love the smell of lilac. And the very last color I have is a flower that comes out that does very well in the spring, not so much in the summer because it's a cooler weather flower. Purple pansy, such a bright, happy color. These clear oranges, purples, blue, purple, red, purple, pink, just so pretty. So I have those five colors in full skeins, and I also did minis of the same colorways. So if you're interested in a very pretty springy garden mini skein set, here they are. Wild lilacs, bird bath, love this color. <laughs> Reminds me of the bluebirds in my yard. Zen Garden, Eclipse, and Purple Pansies, all in a mini skein set. So that is the shop update um, for this week. It so also in my shop. I last time I had an update. I had dyed um, yarn for Helen Stewart's um, mystery knit along. I think it's 24 birds mystery knit along. And the solid skeins, I put this beautiful set on sale. 20% off this. They're also very beautiful colors for the spring. You can mix and match them with pretty much anything that I dye, really. I mean, everything mixes and matches and goes together. If you want me to put together a custom set for you, just let me know. I'll, I'll work with you. Um, so, but anyway, this full set is on sale, 20% off. This is a bit of a different base. It's a base I don't really dye anymore. It's a singles. I have this one as well. Okay, are you all ready for a sock parade? <laughs> so when last we spoke, my last episode was entitled How to Knit Warmer Socks. 
And um, I showed you I had these socks on the needles, which I finished. So this is Woolens and Nosh DK weight held together with um, some white mohair. And I put in a reinforcing sock yarn on the heel. And I finished these pretty much right after I recorded. And I love them. My feet are always cold. So I, I pretty much always have wool socks on, except in the real hot, hot summer. Um, and sometimes I even have them on then too at night. But um, these are so warm. They do not match color wise, but I don't care. I wanted to save yarn, so I didn't. I could have pulled it out and made the match, but. I didn't bother because I'm going to get another pair of socks out of this and um, another skein that I, I had knit up of the DK. And then I will not have wasted any, which is awesome. And I think I have some fingering that I'm going to hold together of her yarn. And it's just, they're just cozy and warm. And I, these are bed socks or not, bed, I don't wear them in bed. <laughs> I go barefoot. I get very hot at night. <laughs> so I only wear a nightgown to bed. I don't wear socks. Um, but around the house, my feet get very cold. And I even, I put them on and then I put Ugg slippers on. And then my feet stay super toasty. Um, but I don't wear them out of the house. So these are just knocking around sock. I mean, I'm, I'm home a lot all the time. <laughs> And, you know, I have Reiner's disease where your hands and feet get cold. So I need extra warm socks. However, when I, when I go out or I wear shoes, like right now I have shoes on, um, I wear Skechers sneakers. In fact, I'm going to show you right now. You ready? Skechers. These are brand new. These are my house sneakers. And I have, I, they're slightly big, the sneakers, but then I can put wool socks on underneath. So um, these are Bounty Hunter by Mustache. Obviously not in my sock parade because they're on my feet, but you've just seen them. So, um, so I wear socks every single day. So last time I showed you, I had four pairs on the needles and I had single socks completed from four pairs and I had second socks either started or not started. So I was going through a little bit of a second sock syndrome and I decided this is ridiculous. You need to finish these. So I didn't knit anything else. I have not touched any of my other whips since I talked to you. It's been about a month since I talked to you, but I finished some socks. So, I started this pair of socks last fall. This is Mustache Yarns in the Campfire colorway. They match perfectly because her socks, her signature is that her socks are must match. And when you purchase most of her sock yarn, um, it's in two perfectly matched skeins, 50 grams each skein for a total of 100 grams. So I have these two socks finished. And I'm just going to tell you my quick sock recipe right now in case you haven't seen this show before. I do top down always because I like the German twisted cast on. It's nice and stretchy and I don't have that tightness. Um, I have a tutorial for that 
on my website. I have it as a short, and I think I have it as part of a show. Um, I'll see if I can link to it. That short has a lot of views, which is cool. I should make more shorts. But anyway, um, top uh, German twisted cast on, 2x2 two two rib for 15 rounds, plain leg. I just like to knit in the round. So plain. I think I knit like 66 rounds or so. Fish lips kiss heel, which I can't do tutorial for because it's a paid for pattern. But I put a fish lips kiss heel in. I love this heel. It fits me perfectly. I love it. Because it's, it's how most commercial socks are made, actually. Um, you know, with this type of heel. And they fit me great. Because I don't really have a high instep. I have a very low, flat arch. I don't have an arch, really. <laughs> so, they fit me great. Um, after the fish lips kiss heel, I think I knit 68 rounds. Then I do a classic toe, which is um, four decreases around every other round. And then when you get to half of the stitches, so... When you get down to um, 32 total stitches on your needles, you decrease every round until you get to half of that, which for me is eight stitches, and then I kitchener. Perfect sock for me, for me. So, yeah, all my socks are knit that way, every single one that you see, and I wear them daily. By the way, if you want the recipe for this warm sock, it is on my website. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, and you can just download a PDF of my, for free, of my uh, recipe for these warm socks. Okay, next pair that I finished. Mustache Lego Batman. And you may ask me, Cher, why don't you knit your own yarn into socks? And the answer is, I probably should. <laughs> because the base is essentially the same base that I dye. It's, it's a 75, these are 75, 25, four ply. And that's the base that I dye for socks. Um, but I just love self-striping. And... Um, I don't know, after I dye yarn, I'm just not in the mood to knit with it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I knit with it, but I don't need to knit, like, every skein into, into socks. So I, I really enjoy my self-striping. But this is Lego Batman, and I love these. These are brand new, finished. I have not worn them. I haven't worn these either. So Lego Batman. Interesting fact about mustache she repeats colorways according to the season. So if you like the Star Wars colors that are coming up soon, she will have all of them in May, for May the 4th, in a couple weeks. Okay, I'm going to give you a little kind of a tip or a hack <laughs> that I do so I know whether my socks are clean or not. These are all clean. <laughs> but... This is what this is how I can tell. So what I do is when I put them in the wash, Rich does all the wash. Before I put them in the wash, I turn them inside out, which I think makes them look nicer when they come out of the wash. And I put them in my drawer inside out. So these ones are mustache the wall. That's the colorway. And if you can see they're inside out. So I know that they are clean. And then I just turn them the correct way to wear them. And then when I'm done wearing, I can put them in the wash. I'll show you these on blockers in a sec. This is mustache yarns in the colorway, the wall. This is an old skein. She still dyes this color. 
they've gotten a lot of use and are still they're so nice and soft and they're still nice and intact no holes so these I think had a hole and I not from where but I don't know how somehow I must have snagged it on something but I just did a little repair right here and it doesn't look great but I don't care because <laughs> they're under my pants <laughs> This is Mustache Family Reunion. I got these on a D stash. I tend to gravitate more toward the neutral colors, but I do have some colorful ones in there too. This pair practically knit themselves. I was obsessed. This is Chimichangas. It is a Deadpool reference. I do not like Deadpool. I am not a fan of superheroes at all, but I love the color. My daughter loves, she liked Deadpool. She went for as Deadpool as a Halloween costume one year. Um, I'm just not a superhero fan. But this is Chimichangas. This is a very old colorway. I had them on the needles forever and ever and ever. I thought it was a Peter Pan reference, but it's not. I think it's a Grinch reference. I think this is You're a Mean One. Which should come out at Christmas time. Like I said, I've seen all of her colors repeated by the season. This is another pair that knit themselves. This is Dark Side of the Moon. Very old colorway. This is the one that started it all for mustache. Yarn Harlot knit these up and just, she couldn't keep them in her shop. So um, this is Dark Side of the Moon. The heels and toes are Dark Side of the Moon um, extended play version with the um, just the rainbow part. I have a skein of each of these regular dark side of the moon and dark side of the moon extended play version that I'm going to knit up pretty soon. Hold on. I'll show them to you. Okay. This is dark side of the moon original. I grabbed another skein. She said that she was going to retire it, and then she came out with it again. <laughs> so I don't think she really retires anything. So this is Dark Side of the Moon, and this is Dark Side of the Moon Extended Play Version, EPV. And this has wider rainbow stripes. I might cast... I, I knit these for my daughter, a pair, um, and I might... I need to cast a pair on for myself. I love this color. It's great. Okay, this is a Star Wars color. This is the Dark Warrior, which is a Kylo Ren reference. Love these. This is You Had Me at Hello. I think it, this, this was a Valentine's Day inspired color from the movie Jerry Maguire. Very old film, but a good one. This was a mill end that I purchased, or like a half, half skein. This is Not All Who Wander Are Lost, which is a Lord of the Rings reference. Not a fan of the Lord of the Rings, but I do love this color. Um, and the heels and toes were just a leftover I had from a Yoda reference sock that I had knit for my daughter for a gift. And I had knit an R2-D2 sock for my future son-in-law as a gift as well. And yeah, 
I've probably knit almost 20 pairs of her colors. This is Space Cowboy, I believe. Star Wars reference. She should have this one back very soon. Because like I said, she dyes her Star Wars colors in May. This is Daily Eggs, a spring color that she does. I knit this a while ago and these are still in wonderful shape. Daily Eggs. This one, I can't for the life of me remember what color it was, but if you've been watching my show for a while, I had started these and then I messed them up. So I frogged them, the whole thing, and I re-knit them. And they're one of my favorite socks. I'm knitting my socks on size one needles now. Um, American size one. I think the millimeter is 2.25 millimeter. Um, I was knitting my socks on zeros and they're too tight right now from how I'm knitting. So ones it is and yeah, it's coming out good. They're perfect, perfect fit for me. But anyway, she dyed this this year. I almost bought another skein of it, but I still have some left over from these. So I did not, but I bought this skein, which is kind of similar. This one is whole lot of love which is like a coffee reference so pretty I like those wide stripes these are bounty hunter I was just wearing them but I took them off so I could show you it's a Boba Fett reference I just love her Star Wars colors and eventually I will knit them all I have a good start on them, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so that brings you me all the way up to my two pairs that are unfinished, and they're almost finished. This one is Princess General, which is a Princess Leia reference. I just have to do the Kitchener on this one. And I am just past the heel on this one. So I'm very happy with my progress. I have this one complete. This is the Dark Father, which is a Darth Vader reference. And I have the second one almost to the halfway to the toe. So, pretty good progress. So, I'm curing my second sock syndrome. Very happy about that. Because that was, that was driving me nuts that I didn't have these socks finished. So, as far as what I'm going to cast on next, I have this beautiful color. This is Stolen Lilacs Smell the Best. And I've stolen a lilac or two in my day. And it's the season. So I think I'm gonna cast these on next weekend when I go visit um, our daughter, Em, and her fiance and their new dog. They have a new dog. I don't know if I talked about her on this show. Um, a couple weeks, Back, I showed you a picture of a dog that they were thinking of getting, but he wasn't good with cats. But they got a new listing on their adopted website, and they adopted a beautiful dog named um, Gazelle. I think I might have shown you pictures of Gazelle. She's gorgeous. I'll pop in a couple pictures of her. I haven't met her yet, so I'm excited to meet her. And this is going to be my treat. Hopefully she won't steal them. <laughs> Richie's 
oldest daughter has a dog that steals everything. And if I go visit, I have to make sure all of my bags are zipped and closed because he'll just steal, steal stuff right out of your bag, out of your purse. So I don't know if Zell steals things. I will find out. <laughs> um, and then another color I'm dying to cast on is this Mando and Little G. That's a Star Wars reference I got last year, which is Mandalorian and Grogu reference. And then this one. This is Over the Garden Wall. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's beautiful. I love the colors. And the way it stripes is really, really cool. Stay tuned. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was a long parade. <laughs> now I have to fold them all up and put them back in my sock drawer. <laughs> I hope that you are having a wonderful start to your spring. Don't forget my shop update. I have some things on sale also in the shop. So check that out. I have a newsletter going out as well. So I will be at the, I told you I'm visiting my daughter next weekend. I will be at the Witch Wool Festival. I'll link to it down below in Salem, Massachusetts. So if you're going to be there, I'm going to be there. I think, I hope, I hope to make it. <laughs> That's the plan, but you never know. Things could, things could change. But no, I'm visiting I'm going to visit my daughter next Friday and then we're going to get up early and drive. It's about an hour from her house to Salem. We're going to go to Salem, go to the Witch Wool Festival and meet up with some of my friends, my fiber friends like Sue from Legacy Fiber Arts. Can't wait to see Sue. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm, I think I'm going to meet Michelle too from, from Wool and the Nosh. She's going to be there. So I'm really excited. I'm very excited. So if you're going to be there, say hi. I would love to see you. Um, yeah. So hope you have a great start to your spring. Knit something beautiful. And cheers. <laughs>